Aloha. My name is Nicholas Tanchef with Island Holistic Healing. And we are on the big island of Hawaii. And in the previous videos, we have been discussing how to achieve optimal health in your own physical body, okay? And today we're going to be going through stage five, okay? On that path. And in stage five, we're gonna talk about water fasting and its role in aiding the detoxification process of your body, okay? Now, water fasting is very important because if you want to achieve optimal physical health in your body, you have to undergo a period of time where you abstain from all calories so that your body can undergo a regenerative healing process, okay? And in this regenerative healing process, your body is going to go from carbohydrate metabolism to ketone metabolism, okay? So you're gonna completely kick out of carbohydrate metabolism after approximately two to three days into a complete ketone metabolism whereby your body is going to break down and eliminate excess toxicity that stores in your adipose tissue, okay? So we recommend a minimum of 14 days of water only fasting so that you can see drastic changes take place in a short period of time. In this period of time, you will see your body eliminate excesses of uric acid, low density lipoprotein cholesterol, blood sugar, white blood cells, and inflammation, okay? So 14 days allows your body enough time to reset your body for now you will be able to more, uh, more effectively and efficiently metabolize the nutrients that you're giving to your body, okay? So when we go into water only fasting, we want you to first make sure that you're getting through stage one, stage two, stage three, you understand the laboratory analysis that we went through in stage four, so that preparing for water only fasting, you are well prepared, okay? And coming out of the water fast, you are going to be well prepared for what is necessary to come out of the water fast in a very good way. Coming out of the water fast, you want to make sure that the first couple of days you are consuming liquids. Liquids is going to be the easiest way for you to transition back into nourishment, okay? And after two days of liquids, then you can start to transition into solid foods, which would consist of the fruits and uh, raw vegetables, salads, etc. Um, now, uh, the first couple of days when we talk about doing liquids, we're, we're looking at uh, fresh juices, fresh coconut water, uh, broths, and probiotic beverages uh, known as uh, kombuchas and john. Um, and so uh, this is how we do things for our clients uh, that come to our retreat programs. So when we run our retreat programs, we do a three-week program. Uh, we work with you before the program and during the program and then are available to follow up with you after the program. Uh, we do these programs in Hawaii where it's uh, amazing, it's beautiful, the weather is warm, uh, there's plenty of sunshine, and we teach you all the different therapies that 
you should know so that you will be able to take care of your own physical body the best. Um, so if you have any questions about um, some of the material that we have gone over, uh, I encourage you to reach out to me. I, I am available uh, to work with you or to help you uh, in uh, you know, uh, answering uh, any of your questions. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, we will be uh, following up with additional videos where we're gonna go through some of the bonus uh, material where we will go through some of the therapies uh, that are for other parts of the body that we also go through with your uh, retreat program, ears, eyes, scalp, skin, feet, hands, internal detoxification therapies, parasitic detoxification therapies, hard mineral and heavy metal detox therapy. Um, so, um, so yeah, uh, we look forward to um, uh, uh, the next video and we hope to see you there. Mahalo.